Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I'm going to blind you with this project. <laughs> this is the little faceted, faceted, ever how you want to say it, box that we're going to make today. And I know a lot of people out there have made that these. Uh, I think Poodles was the lady who actually, from the UK, who actually came up with them. But I've seen them before. Uh, I just happened to see this one on Pinterest, and I have some of this glitter paper. This is that glitter paper that does not come off on your hand. It doesn't shed. And I happened to have some of this glitter paper, and I thought, ooh, that would be pretty in the silver and the gold. So I did this one in silver, and then I... I know my flower looks kind of dark in places, but it's really not. It's got silver and clear Wink of Stella on it. It's just got a lot of shade on it right now, a lot of shaded areas, but um, it, it is really glittery, I promise. It's not, it doesn't look dirty like it's showing in the camera. It looks really pretty. But, um, so, I, and I also used my new punch that I got yesterday that I told you that I was going to try out. I used it to put just a little bit of a layer under the flower, and the box does open up. And you can use it to put all kinds of goodies in. I thought this would be a really good Mother's Day uh, little box to fill up with some things for my girls. Probably a gift card. That's usually what I get them for Mother's Day. But then it just closes back down. It's really easy to make. So we're going to make one now in gold. Because I've got one that likes gold and one that likes silver. So we're going to make one this time in gold. And this is, like I said, we have this. This is the American Craft POW, P-O-W, glitter paper. It does not shed. This is the kind of glitter paper that I like because it does not come off. Excuse me while I open this. I'm sorry. probably should have opened this ahead of time, but I didn't. It comes individually wrapped in the pages with the little cardboard behind it. So we're going to use a gold one. The first thing we need to do is cut this at 11 and a half. And let me turn my phone off first. I always forget to do that. Uh, we're going to cut it at 11 and a half by 7 and 7 eighths. So 11 and a half right there. So we're going to use almost all of it. And I do not throw these little pieces away. I use them. I, do. I love glitter paper like this, so I definitely don't throw them away. By seven and seven eighths. And I think that's that mark right there. Okay. Got another good piece right there. All right. And that is all the cutting that you do. Now we're going to do some scoring. So I'm going to get my scoreboard. Okay, on the short side, put your short side up. And on the short side, you're going to score. And I score on the back side of my glitter paper. Just because I don't want to pull the glitter off if it's possible to do that. You're going to score at two and a half. Four and five eighths, and seven and one eighth, and then you're going to turn it to the left. You're going to have this little score mark, the half, the half inch one up at the top, and you're just going to score down to the second score line. So you're going to have this little score line at the top of your scoreboard and you're just going to score down to that score line right there, the second one. So you're going to score at two and one half and just score down to that right there and stop. And then at five, score down to there. And then at seven and a half, And then at 10. Okay. And then you're going to rotate it 180 degrees. So you're going to turn it all the way around. 
and then you're going to score down to the first score line. You're going to score it one fourth first. So one fourth just to that first score line. Two and three fourths. Five and a fourth. Seven and three quarters. And ten and one fourth. Okay, so that that's what you've got. All right, get our scoreboard out of the way. And now we're going to take our ruler and we're going to start, and I'm going to flip it around this way because I'm going to start on this end. We're going to go from see if you can see it that little score mark right there down to this one we're going to make some triangles all the way down so the score mark that you made up here and then we're going to score down to the one below it on that other score line and when I get this done I will hold it up so that you can see it hopefully let's see uh, there we go See, I just scored from right here down to this little score line right here. So in this middle section, you're going to make your triangles. And you're going to start at one score line, and you're going to come down to the other. Okay. Just back and forth. So right there is my score line. And make sure that you do the end one as well. So just put your score tool at the very end of the paper at that score line and then score down to that one. Okay, so you will have something that looks, let's see, there you go, like that. Sorry about the glare, guys. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut away some sections, and I'm going to mark them here, what we're going to cut away and on the back, and then you can take a picture of it or whatever, and that will maybe help you to remember. That's kind of what I did in the beginning. So you're going to cut away all of that. This little edge right here and then all of this part and then these two up here. You're going to cut all that away. So that's gone. All right, all of these right here. Whoops. We're going to go get rid of all of these and we're going to get rid of this one. And I think that's it. When I start cutting, I'll know better. But after I get this cut out, then you can take a shot of your screen, maybe, and that will help you. So just follow the score marks. I'll try to cut straight, some more than I did. Okay. Now we're going to cut down through here on this score line. And I really need my other scissors. Hold on, let me grab my other scissors. I don't like the Tim Holtz scissors for doing things like this. Okay, then we're going to cut down this score line. down on this one. Well, I should have cut all of these off before I did that, but that's okay. Alright, and this piece is going to get cut out, so what we're going to do is fold this one, and we're going to cut this piece out right at that score line. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to cut up on all of these score lines. one more. Cut this this piece right here away too. So that little box in the corner, you cut him away. So you're left with something, and I'm looking at my picture, you're left with something that looks like this. Okay? I know it looks kind of weird right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut about half an inch or a little bit more off of each one of these because these are going to be the parts that fold in the top so we don't need them quite so long so we're just going to cut off a piece of each one of those and then this is going to be our fold that we our top that we fold over in so we're going to take those corners at a little bit of an angle like that. Alright, now you can burnish your score marks, your score lines. Now, I have to kind of be careful burnishing this paper because it is not really forgiving as much as regular paper is, even though it's so pretty. It uh, doesn't like to forgive me when I make a bad score line, so I'll, I'll go really slow on these. Okay. All right. Once you've got all of those burnished, then you're gonna do. You're gonna fold these and burnish them. The little triangles that you marked off. You're gonna fold all of those and burnish them all the way down the line, back and forth. And doing this with regular paper, not glitter paper like this, would probably be a little bit easier. This is not hard. It's not hard at all to, to use this. Like I said, it's just not quite as forgiving as regular paper is. So that's why I'm going kind of slow and careful with my bone folder. Because it, it will make marks in it if you use the bone folder too rough. But it's worth it because I think it's so pretty. Okay, and then this little end piece right here. Alright, so you've got all of those. See all of those? Oh, you can see them now. So you've got all of those folded in. So what we're going to do, this piece right here is the one that's going to come over and meet right there to start making our box. Now I use score tape on here and it seemed to hold well. So we're going to try it again. I think it will work just fine. I'm going to put it right up to the edge and I'm going to run off just a little bit with it. I can always fold it in. I'd rather have a little bit too much is not enough. So what I'll do is pull the backing off and then I just fold it up. That just gives me a little extra um, glue on there. And I don't know what I got right there. Okay. Alright, and then just take it around to this side and just meet your, your corners up and your score line. Everything really, really well. If you're using score tape like me, don't press it down until you get ready or you'll be in trouble. Okay, so we got that. All right, now this is your bottom, and of course this is going to be the front. So we don't want, we want to fold in those two sides first. Let's see, here's our front. So let's fold that in that over and that so that'll be yeah 
all right now on this one I had to use glue I used score tape first and then I ended up having to put glue in there to kind of glue all of my pieces together so I'm just going to use glue from the beginning you can use score tape on this if you're using regular paper or your glue whichever you want this is just because this it does have a little bit of glitter on it it's a little bit harder to um, get to stick and we want to make sure the bottom is stuck down really well in case we put something small in here that it doesn't fall out so make sure that the bottom folds up over even Alright, and then one more. This, if you use all of these little panels to fold in, this makes that bottom really sturdy so that it'll hold up to whatever you want to put in there. This would hold a, you know, a lotion bottle, one of those little facial lotion things, um, a lot of different things like that. Like I said, my girls will probably get gift cards, but I'll probably put them a little bottle of something in here with it. I'm going to make a little card. Alright, I'm just going to sit mine down and just kind of press on it a little bit. And I see a little piece right there that's got a hangover, so all I'm going to do is trim that off. I did I, Either I didn't cut it exactly straight or... I didn't put it down straight, but that's okay. You can always alter that a little bit. Okay, then we fold these two in. And that over. Push it in there, and there it is. Your faceted, bo faceted box. Isn't that cute? Okay, let me clip that little place off that's hanging. I think that is adorable. Now, we're not going to waste. Like I said, I don't like to waste any of this. This is my punch that I got, and I'm going to see if this is big, big enough. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do is punch out one of these. I love the punches, by the way. These are from EK Success. I love them. So far, it has worked great. Now, if you just lay that down on there, it doesn't really show that you've got anything going on there. So what I did is I took just a little bit of vintage, vintage photo. And I just went around the edges. And I see in there where I put a little score mark. That's okay. Just go around the edges and I put a little bit of ink on it just to make it show that it's it'll pop off the top just a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get that score mark out. Usually if you go over to the other side of your paper where your score mark is and just press over it you can get that score mark out Okay, so that's all I did to the other one just a little bit of ink so then we'll put this down there and I think this glue will hold it you could put this up on pop dots you know, that would be pretty to put it up on pop dots. Hmm. I think I will put it up on pop dots. Even though I've already got my glue on there, that's fine. I'm not going to not gonna fret over that. That'll just help my pop dots stick. I hope. Oh, everything's sticking to my finger. I know that. See, that's how you change your mind in midstream, right there. I think I am going to wipe a little of that off. Just because it's sticking to me more than it's sticking to anything else. Okay, then I'm going to put this on there, right in the center. Hopefully, somewhere near the center. Alright, that's better. And now I'm just going to take one of these flowers, and this is some of the Petaloo flowers. 
I think I'm going to go with the smaller one on this one. And all I did was I took my clear Wink of Stella and I just went over it. And if you'll notice, the clear Wink of Stella really looks like silver when you put it on top of white like this. So that's all I did was just kind of rubbed over the flower, not trying to cover it all, just getting a little glitter on there. Put it on the under petals as well. And then I put some on the center of it. And that is all I did to that. And then I did use hot glue to put this flower on because the other glues is just not going to hold it. Not on that glitter. So then I just popped it right in the center like that. And that's it. That's all I did. I know it's hard for you to see with all the lights. Let's see if I can move the lights back. And you can see it that way. There you go. So, it looks like a diamond, doesn't it? I'm move all this out of the way so that you can get a good view. I think they're adorable. So there you go guys, two, two versions. This one has the pop-up on it and I like that. This one doesn't, I like that one too. But that is it. Oh, my flower didn't turn out to be in the center, did it? Let's turn it around a little bit before it cools. There we go. All right, that is it. I hope you tried this and remember the challenge. I challenge you to make this card, this card, this uh, project. And I hope that you do. We will see you on the members page with your projects. Don't forget, ever who, um, at the end of the month, we will have the drawing. And the person whose name gets drawn out, who has created some of my projects that I have put up, if your name gets drawn out, you will win a $15 gift card to the boutique. So come over and post your pictures after you get finished making these items. Okay, guys? We'll talk to you later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.